Two of the world's most powerful people are fighting in public. Elon Musk voted for Joe Biden in the 2020 election and said he was excited for him to be president. <laughs> so, what has happened? They've been hitting each other verbally at every available opportunity for the past two years. Latest Elon Musk is out accusing Joe Biden of covering up his son's corruption. Hunter Biden has been accused of using his father's name to get lucrative jobs and for being associated with companies accused of corruption and having shady business deals. It's alleged that Hunter charged or at least sought huge sums of money for lobbying purposes when his father Joe Biden was the vice president. This lobbying has been linked to Libya and China related affairs besides introducing people wanting to get things done with appropriate top level US officials. In addition to this lobbying, Hunter is ties to a few businesses that have been charged with corruption. According to NBC News, which used information that was leaked from Hunter's computer from 2013 through 2018, Hunter Biden and his company brought in about $11 million through his roles as an attorney and board member with a Ukrainian firm accused of bribery and his work with a Chinese businessman now accused of fraud. After taking control over Twitter, Elon has released the Twitter files showing that the FBI made Twitter censor the Hunter Biden scandal. After receiving orders from the FBI, Twitter removed tweets about the scandal. Elon Musk believes the FBI was acting on behalf of the Democrats and Joe Biden. Joe was running for president and didn't need any bad publicity about his family. What do Joe Biden have to say about his son's actions? He refuses to answer on specific details, but in a CNN interview, he says, I'm proud of my son. Some days ago, Joe Biden agreed to a prisoner exchange with Russia. Brittany Greiner, an American basketball player, has been released. Another American, Paul Wellen, a former U.S. Marine, is still imprisoned in Russia. Elon Musk tweeted, never leave a Marine behind, criticizing Biden for not doing enough for Whelan. In November, Joe Biden said that Elon Musk's relationship with other countries was worthy of being looked at, but declined to say how that could be done. When asked about comments made by the billionaire that the U.S. is experiencing a recession, Joe Biden also made fun of Musk's obsession with space. It happened at a press conference where Biden highlighted Ford's investment in electric cars. While Elon Musk is talking about that, Ford is increasing their investment overwhelmingly. Biden said regarding Musk's pessimism, I think Ford is increasing the investment in building new electric vehicles, 6,000 new employees, union employees, I might add, in the Midwest. Biden went on to add, so, you know, lots of luck on his trip to the moon. The one episode that really irritates Elon Musk is that Joe Biden failed to invite Elon Musk and Tesla, the largest electric car maker in the U.S., to a summit at the White House. It seems odd Tesla wasn't invited, tweeted Musk. Over the past three years, Tesla has sold 74% of all electric vehicles in the U.S., Ford and General Motors, two automakers that were invited to the event, only account for a small portion of the nation's sales of electric vehicles. During the press briefing at the time, Jen Pazaki, the press secretary for the White House, was questioned about whether Tesla was being left out of the celebration because its staff did not belong to an automotive union. She said, I'll let you draw your own conclusions. Musk has slammed the Biden's Build Back Better agenda in December, saying the administration should abandon the $2 trillion package entirely. The CEO specifically objected to legislation that would allow Americans to receive a tax credit of up to $12,500 if they purchased an electric vehicle that was put together by unionized workers. The bill would support Ford and GM while completely excluding Tesla. Additionally, Musk has criticized a Democratic Party tax proposal that would target U.S. billionaires. The legislation at the time could have resulted in a $10 billion annual tax bill for the billionaire. He stated on Twitter in October that they eventually run out of other people's money and then they come for you. 
In January of this year, perhaps the strongest words from Elon Musk were said. He called the president a damp sock puppet. Elon Musk spoke out about Biden once again, met with executives from Ford and GM regarding the EV market, and again, failed to include Tesla. Biden has praised General Motors and Ford for their forays into electric vehicles, but has said little about Tesla. Joe Biden has also visited GM and Ford plants and taken test drives in their upcoming electric pickup trucks that has been noticeably absent from Tesla's massive Fremont factory. In February, nearly 40,000 Tesla fans signed a Change.org petition urging Biden to recognize Tesla as the nation's leading electric car manufacturer. The White House and the Biden administration have purposefully tried to ignore Tesla's hard work while promoting GM and others as EV leaders, according to the petition. This is an insult to Tesla's American employees. In February, Biden publicly acknowledged Tesla. Biden mentioned Tesla's influence on the industry during a speech aimed at increasing domestic electric vehicle manufacturing, noting that Musk's company is the largest electric vehicle manufacturer in the U.S., Musk has stated that he no longer plans to vote for a Democratic candidate in upcoming elections. This administration has done everything it can to sideline and ignore Tesla, Musk wrote on Twitter. Elon Musk said then that he has plans to open Donald Trump's Twitter account. After he bought Twitter, he did just that. But so far, Trump hasn't made any tweets. Elon Musk also added, In the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly the kindness party. I used to support them, but they've turned into the party of hostility and division, so I'll be voting Republican instead. Watch the progression of their devious campaign against me right now. Prior to making his decision to switch parties, Musk claimed that Biden was only elected because voters wanted less drama. According to the billionaire, he backs centrist candidates. Musk has also criticized Trump without holding back. He stated in May that a 2024 presidential candidate who was less divisive than Trump would be preferable. Musk expressed his outrage in 2016 at the Trump administration's decision to withdraw from the climate-focused Paris Agreement. But in 2018, the CEO of SpaceX said he supported Trump's proposal for a military branch in space called the Space Force. So there we are. Elon Musk doesn't like either of the two potential presidential candidates for the 2024 election. Many of Elon Musk's fans have stated that he ought to be the next president of the USA, but that's impossible due to the fact that he was born in South Africa. Will this feud between these powerful men ever end? I don't think so. What do you think? Elon Musk has some other great enemies as well. Check out the video that lists Elon Musk's worst enemies. That was all for now. I hope to see you in the next one.